Hi guys, as I said you in the last section that we will be doing the activity diagram hands on over here. Okay, now let's embark on the journey to draw the activity diagram. Now, the first thing you need to know when you are drawing the activity diagram in UML, you have an activity thing in the first place, right? But here, as I said you last section that there will be swim lens in which we can draw the activity diagram and it will be easier for you to understand and give the overall design a very good look so that they understand from which swim lane to another swim lane, how you are jumping from one swim lane to another swim lane and how the activities are carried out. And now to prove that, let us come to the point where we were talking about the student course and the instructor uh, interaction what we have done still now in the course right so let me draw the start note now when i am drawing the start note even before that i know that i want to do into three section that is student course and instructor so what i will do is i will go to the swim lane section so in your tool whatever tool you are using you may be using um, uh, star UML, you may be using uh, visual paradigm, visio or anything else. Everywhere you will see there will be a swim lane option. So click on the swim lane option. Now depending upon whether you want a vertical swim lane or horizontal swim lane, you will get two options. Now for me, I need a vertical swim lane. Okay. Now what I will do is I will just drag that swim lane and I will position it and I may drag it little further so that the swim lane will get lot of space for me to draw whatever I want to draw. Now you may ask me for student course and instructor I need three. Okay let me first write the student section in it. I will write it as student. The second one will be course. Now you want to extend right. Now you have an option where you can add the swim lane either before or after for us we want it after so it, it's same in any tool okay so you can add the swim lens and then you can extend the swim lens and then you have to name the swim lens now i will name this as instructor okay now because there are now three sections in it we are good to go and maybe I will drag a little further down so that it looks uh, really neat and we will be able to draw this. Okay. Now, uh, the first thing you do, you have to do a start node. Now, can you see a start node? The initial node is named as start node. Now, it's like booting up your computer. Okay. Now, a little slow, a little noisy, but full of potential means without this you don't have a starting point at all so drag this this is the first thing you will be dragging while you are doing any activity diagram okay now the start note signifies the beginning of the workflow it is where our student academic journey commences okay now the second part is enrolling in the course right because you are starting here the second section what you will start with is an activity. What is that activity? You want to drag an activity and you will name that activity as enroll in course. Okay. Now I want to make this little smaller so that we have some space if we have to go further down below. And later I will draw these arrows. Okay. For time being, uh, you need to understand that this enroll in course is what our brave students will enroll in the course, not knowing if it is a treasure trove of knowledge or a Pandora box of assignment, isn't it? Now, the activity represents the student action of enrolling in the course, marking their entry into the learning process. That is what you need to remember. Now, from here, I need to have a starting point for the course. So enrolling in course is only possible if there is an activity where it is starting in the course section. 
so what i will do is i will drag another button and another activity basically not a button now i will say start over here now this activity is again another action where the start is happening so basically what i am trying to say here is the course starts is like a dragon walking up from a nap ready to breathe fire on everyone which technically means you are starting enrolling to the course and this activity marks the official commencement of the course initiating the technical and the learning process of the student okay now let me now draw the arrows and to draw the control flow you can take this arrows so how you will start you will drag that and put it like this you can put any kind of labels if you want for the advanced concept for time being i am not putting anything inside that okay now from enroll course another control flow will go to the start right that is what we are now doing right so now this is the initial node we have an activity for enrolling in the course the course has now started with an activity now what is the next part the instructor is teaching the course is what we have to remember what is that the instructor is like a wizard casting spell of wisdom hoping students don't fall asleep under the enchantment right so uh, just as a technical explanation i will say the instructor begins delivering lectures disseminating knowledge to the students so to do so you have to draw another activity now drag this and draw another activity and inside this activity you have to name it as teach course right now when you say teach course that means the instructor has the duty of teaching the course i will just keep it little up so that i can draw something else in this particular space now the control will again flow from the start of the course to the teach course right and that is what we are going to draw now the next point is the student are also participating in the course you agree all the student who are enrolling into the course they are also participating in the course and completing the assignments now where should that come here you need to draw two more activities which because it is a student activity the activity should be drawn over here so i will draw two more activity over here i will not make it very large or very big so that it is more of a conceptual thing and you need to just relate all the conception so that you can relate with your own project and later you can draw that participate in course this is one thing okay and the second one as i said you completion of the assignment or complete assignment complete assignment right once you say this two things how the arrow will come from this teach course so the control flow will come from while the instructor is teaching they are also participating in the course after the participation in the course they are also completing the assignment you agree so the control will from from here to here okay and now once this is done what you have to do the what is the other things that the instructor is doing if you have to relate it you can put the grade assignment as another activity now after the assignment is completed the activity of the instructor is to grade the assignment so grade assignment okay once you write this grade assignment i will show you what are the other key things of the activity diagrams you need to remember now while you are doing this at the same time you need to remember i spoke about the decision node now 
a student with his assignment may pass or fail so bring the decision node and say pass over here if you say pass which technically means from the complete assignment first of all i have to give a control flow to the grade assignment right and from grade assignment i have to give another control flow that will go to the pass section just a second yep it goes to the pass section now from the pass section we can take two more activity one is receive certificate the other can be retake the course so i can tell the person who is doing good he is receive certificate and the person who is not doing good have to retake the course agree so if this is the case you have two activities in place although i have written pass over here now i will tell you how to uh, draw this retake course okay once you say this two you can do in this way what you can do is first of all you have to make an arrow one is from which is coming from the pass decision point so make this control flow sorry yeah this control flow not this one little difficult but we can do it so i will now again try this so this is the one and the other control flow will go to this one right now in both the cases i can write here no pass and here i can tell yes you have passed which means i can take it here and tell one is yes if it is pass receive the certificates if it is no retake the course but does that end no at some point i said you we have to join it back before we can end it because it's a complete cycle that we need to follow in that case what we can do is we can again bring a decision note not a decision note uh, we can do the final note where we will be doing the completion of it and to do that completion you can join and complete it or directly it should pass your control flow to the this particular end node okay so that is how you draw basically the activity diagram okay so quickly let's take a revision of this activity diagram before we conclude this chapter now see the activity diagram is a type of uml diagram used to model the dynamic aspects of the system and it is representing the workflow and the processes showcasing the sequence of activity and the condition coordinating the flow so everything what you see here is a flow the flow is going from enrolling the course to the starting of the course to the teaching of the course and from the teaching course to the participation of the course so every flow is in a controlled manner now what are the activities the activities are in the rounded rectangles represents the action or the operation performed within the system the start and end nodes we have seen these are filled circle and bordered circle representing either the beginning or end of the workflow respectively so remember that okay decision nodes we have just now seen the diamond shape represents a point of decision where the flow diverges based on the condition so this is diverging based on the condition okay the conditions are labeled and you can put your label over there okay and this will represent different path of the workflow and what is workflow then the diagram which you are seeing at the moment 
is a sequence of activity from enrolling in the course to receive a grade showcasing the interaction between the student and the course and instructor so basically this particular diagram is effectively modeling the student journey through a course isn't it like this while you will be designing your system whatever it can be break down into the smallest activity level and then do multiple activity diagram for your system subsystems then it will be easier for you to explain to a team of architects team of project managers team of stakeholders whomever you show they will be able to relate everything of the activity diagram i think we have done uh, everything and as i said you already we have spoken about the swim lens so make this swim lens and it will be easier to track through the progress and the activities so that concludes this particular chapter on the activity diagram let's move to the next section thank you